Hi friends, this is Tracy from the Financial Freedom Diary and today we are back to do my week 5 check in for the month of August. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe below. Hope you all are having a super fantastic Saturday. Um, air conditioning update. <laughs> We got air conditioning, y'all. They came in on um, Friday yesterday, and they had to replace the air handler. And uh, yeah, they said it was going to take two hours. It actually, took four hours, and that's not. And I've already subtracted out their lunch break. <laughs> So it was like a long five hours for me, but yeah, they finally got that fixed. So we have air. I don't even know how to act. <laughs> so let me jump right into these transactions. So I'm hoping that things just uh, that don't happen again. Whew. And plus, I found out that that thing is also the what sends the signal for the air and heat. <laughs> I don't know what those folks is up to, but anywho. So uh, for laundry, I broke a 10 on this past Sunday. And then at Walmart on groceries, I spent $53.44. And I also went to Aldi and on groceries, I spent $18.56. I went over there, I got some fruit. And, you know, they have those chicken breasts um, that really, they very close to like uh, Chick-fil-A chicken breast uh, sandwiches. So... I like to get those and I think I bought like two bags of those and something else I bought um, but something to kind of help this week and not have to cook so much so let's see how much did I spend on grocery because I know I took it almost to the penny <laughs> 1856 plus 5344 72 bucks And this week, I tried to make sure I remembered um, to use my change. A lot of times, I forget to use my change. I don't know why I never take that out before. Because I can't write with it still being in here. 72. And then, on restaurants, I didn't do anything. I've been home all week waiting on them. Um, and a contractor came on, I think, Wednesday. Yeah. Contractors came by Wednesday, a whole bunch of dudes, like six, came by Wednesday, and then the repair happened on Friday. So, 10 for laundry. I didn't spend anything on household and anything uh, for personal. So, four groceries. I don't even need a calculator. 76 minus 72. $4 left. Let's verify that I got that um, and so if you wonder why I won't put this back in my wallet it's because I'm going to use this as part of my cash stuffing um, and I'll take that amount and the difference between what I budgeted and what I actually save is the extra that's going to get added to my debt payment that I'll make from my first paycheck so that's four dollars one two three and four so I got that restaurants I don't know where to put my wallet I have 40 and I should still have 40 let's make sure it's still there 20 and 40 and I had swapped out the five and ones or whatever I had in there before I swapped it out some weeks ago uh, when my sons paid their cell phone bill or no, when they pay rent, I swapped it out then. Um, so let me put $40 here. Uh, laundry, I started out, I had 15 left over from last week. I spent 10, so now I have, uh, I should have $5 left. And I know I have a five, because I was almost tempted just to go ahead and break the 15. So here's my five, put that back. I always like the laundry money roll over because um, I typically, because I get there super, super early, <laughs> and it takes me about $10 a week, but sometimes it takes me 15 But I try to have, I put in 45 every month. So the 45 the $5 left over, 
add another 45 I have 10 left over so when I have a five week month I can typically do all my laundry without having any interruptions and so 45 was what I found to be what works for the month and plus it's one of those categories that I don't mess it up um, household I had $12 left over from last week I didn't spend anything and so I had $12 but uh, household is one of those categories that's actually going to go towards paying on my debt so 10 11 12 and the last one is my personal I had $80 left over from last week and I didn't spend anything so I should still have $80 So those are the three that goes to paying the debt for August. So it's always previous month savings that pay the debt for the next month. Hope that makes sense. 50, 70, and 80. Yeah, it's the little game I play. This is one of the little uh, areas, kind of like my utilities where I can have savings from it. Uh, gas, I tend to keep in my um, checking account. And so the total, $96. 50, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. So I got $96 and that is super fantastic. Um, so let's look at my goals here. Put this back in here. Um, so the goal was to save 65 and you guys if you saw my paycheck number one you saw that I included that already and so my actual savings so let's put that here was 96 all right, so I think I would know $31 extra will go to my um, debt that hasn't already been included in my budget. So you guys know that the trick is mid-month, I go ahead and claim the 65. I claim whatever I said I was going to save so that way I get motivated and stop whatever I'm doing. <laughs> and then um, I try to top that. So at least a minimum of 65 is going to the debt and then I try to get over that amount. Um, I do pretty good, I do pretty good. So I did pay my utility bill and that was $311. And no spending on Monday because I think I spent Monday waiting on the contractors to come by and then I spent, I think I waited Saturday I knew they weren't coming on uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then they showed up on Wednesday. And so, yeah, I work from home all week. Good thing from all of this is I get to finally, oh, let me count my no spends from the month of August before I forget. Um, see, week one, I have six. Week two, six. Week three, I have five. I spent some money from my uh, personal envelope here. So I know sometimes I forget to say what I did. But yeah, I spent some money from my personal. Um, I bought something. I bought a book online. I put had to put the money back in my account. And so that counted against me. Um, week four was six. I'm not going to count the whole week just these two days that are in the month so that's the extra two dollars two <laughs> two dollars um, so I, I did meet the 25 no spend days I know I did not meet the um, 32.50 to debt I think I, I forgot what that number is but it's like um, not 32.50 33.50 I can't even see <laughs> but it was 32 something um, so I did not make meet that goal I came close but I didn't meet that goal um, but you know above the minimum that I wanted to make so I can't really complain right gotta th focus on the good stuff focus on the good stuff but yeah sometimes 
it's a little bit challenging. I need to tear this one out too. Because I did pay my rent. I haven't heard anything back regarding um, like a discount. But I did ask. And like I said, a failure ain't nothing but a try. I ask. And normally I don't ask. <laughs> uh, I have not posted my payment to Fed Loan. I'm going to try to get that done uh, sometime either this you know this Sunday coming up or sometime during this week I'm going to try to get that done um, so many things I have so many projects that I just I gotta get going I got some late meetings coming up so uh, is that cricket feels cricket but we're gonna let it ride <laughs> y'all ain't got all day for me and these stupid stickers y'all like I do not have all day um, but yeah, I think I'm putting them down. All, all of them about to be crooked because I'm trying to get it as high up as possible. And today is Saturday, so I do have to check on some code I pushed to production today. Um, we also have a development outage, so got that thing to manage. Um, so I know I'll be at home and I ain't going to be doing anything today. But I do need to do some of my YouTube stuff. Watch some videos, answer some comments, and all that stuff like that. So thank y'all so much for sticking it out with me, y'all. It feels great <laughs> to have air conditioning. Oh, y'all see that? I totally forgot to set my goals for um, week one of September. Which my weeks go Sunday through Saturday. So my week one is on the 5th. Um, groceries. I'm going to budget, I'm giving myself a hundred dollars a week, so I'm going to budget for the hundred. Um, restaurants, I'm going to budget zero. Laundry, I'm going to budget, should I do 15? I'll do 10. I'll do 10. I might need to do 15, so I might be over on that category. Household, I am going to budget $20. Um... I have a lot of my laundry supplies, but I feel like it's something I'm running out of. And I will probably remember tomorrow. Personal, I'm going to budget $10. I don't know about anything that I need, but you never know. <laughs> Better to be prepared, right? So, I am going to put this back in here. There, so I have my budget for this week, and let me try to do better <laughs> than I did um, in the month of August, because I have full access to my stove, and I can do all the stuff that I actually bought food for, and I wasn't able to use because I didn't want to make it so hot cooking downstairs but thank y'all so much for watching thank y'all for your patience and y'all have a super fantastic saturday i will talk to you guys on sunday where we'll be doing my cash envelope stuffing so y'all have a great one bye